this is another ice char problem, but it's a little more complicated than our last one. Uh, we'll start by writing our reaction. I'm just going to write cis and trans because you know, it's ultimately the same chemical. They're just different forms of it. They're isomers of each other. And I'm going to start again by writing what I know uh, of our ice chart. So we have initial change in equilibrium. According to this, um, we are starting with a concentration of 0 0.30 for the cis isomer and a concentration of 0 0.90 for the trans isomer. And according to this, the K value is 0.5. So K equals 0.5. And just glancing at this, we don't really know which way it's going to go yet. We know it's going to change, but the question is by how much. And one thing that might be helpful is to figure out, well, which way is it going to go? So we know that the formula for K is going to be the products over reactants, so it's essentially going to be trans divided by the cis. And in this case, the trans concentration uh, is told as 0.9. So it's 0.9 divided by the cis, which is 0.3. So currently, actually, remember, this is our Q value now because it's our current conditions. This is the formula for K, but it's also the formula for Q. Um, it's the same formula, just it's whether or not you're putting in equilibrium concentrations or just any random concentration. So our Q value is currently 3, meaning this ratio right now currently has a value of 3, and it needs to get to 0.5. So we need this value to get smaller. And the only way we're going to do that is if this trans value up top gets smaller. So that can give us a hint that our change is going to be, this is going to drop by some unknown x. And if this drops by x, this will increase by x. Now, it's not really essential that I put minus x here. If I had put plus x, I would still get an answer at the end. It's just my x value would be negative. So here, it's nice for the work with positive numbers. So it's good to know which way it's going to shift if you can. But again, it's not essential. So anyway, what are our equilibrium concentrations then? It's going to be 0.3 plus x. And this is going to be 0.9 minus x. And so that is what we've set up. And again, all we're looking for is the final concentrations. We need to find out what x is. Well, what do we know? We know that 0.9 minus x, that's the equilibrium concentration of the trans isomer, divided by 0.3 plus x is going to equal our k value, which is 0.5. So at this point, it is just an algebraic problem. And the chemistry is pretty much done. We just need to solve for x here. So I'm going to um, move this to another page because I don't really know if I have room to solve this. So I have 0.9 minus x over 0.3 plus x equals 0.5. So I'll just solve this algebraically, but you know, hopefully this isn't too big a problem. So we're going to bring over the denominator to the other side. So 0.9 minus x equals 0 0.5, 0 0.5 times. 0.3 plus x. So then this is 0.9 minus x equals uh, 0.15 plus 0.5x. And now we'll just combine like terms. So I will subtract 0.15 from each side. And here I will get uh, 0.75 equals, I'll add x to each side. So that equals 1.5x. And then if I solve for x, x equals 0.75 divided by 1.5, which is 0.5. So if x equals 0.5 now, I can go back to my original thing. And if I know that x equals 0.5, then this is really now 0.9 minus 0.5, or 0.4. This is 0.3 plus 0.5, or 0.8. And let's plug this in, 0.4 divided by 0.8 is indeed 0.5. This is, we've established equilibrium. So our final concentrations of each isomer, the trans isomer is 0.4, and our cis isomer is 0.8. So this is, algebraically, this is easier than, than some are out there. Um, you shouldn't have too many. We're not going to have any that are too difficult to solve uh, for this class. But anyway, that is how we handle this. So again, the ice chart is something you really want to uh, organize and, and keep track of. So, until next time, I am Derek Genova. Have a delightful day.